Well, the end is drawing near for the CEO of BC Ferries, who will retire at the end of this month. But when David Hahn walks out of the doors at the ferry service's head office, there is one thing he will not be leaving behind. The haunting image of the two passengers who died on his watch. CTV Stephen Andrew has more and uh, joins us live with details. Stephen. David Hahn offers some very revealing thoughts on the Queen of the North disaster in true Hahn fashion. Some are blunt, but surprisingly, others are quite emotional. It is the worst at-sea disaster in BC Ferries history. About 40 minutes after midnight on March 22, 2006, passengers and crew were jolted from their beds when the Queen of the North hit ground. We didn't hit a rock, we hit a 250 square kilometer island. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to miss if you looked out the, the windows. For the departing CEO of BC Ferries, it is a moment etched in his mind, especially sorrow for the passengers Gerald Foisy and Shirley Rosette, who died when the ship sank. It was pretty, a pretty, uh, pretty sad day. I think about it every day, so I mean, that's not going to change the rest of my life. I still carry a photograph of uh, uh, the two people that were lost that day in my wallet as a reminder. But it's a disaster that is also full of frustration and one that began hours before the ship went down. For me, it started at uh, uh, 8 o'clock the night before I was on the phone with Captain Taylor, who uh, was running operations. At the time, we were actually having a discussion on the phone about uh, incidents, our, our concerns around uh, where they would happen and things, and we actually talked about the fact that uh, if anything ever happened, it would be in the north. So I went to sleep. Um, I got woken up around 12.30. Uh, it was Captain Taylor. I thought maybe he was calling to tease me. He said, you know, the Queen of the North hit a rock, and you know, we had just had this conversation uh, hours earlier. <laughs> In the hours and days immediately following the disaster, Han met with passengers and crew, provided ongoing updates, and he and his management team searched for answers as to why the ship went down. But there is one thing David Han hasn't been able to do, provide an answer to the question, what happened on the bridge of the Queen of the North during the 20 minutes before the vessel struck land. It's a little hard to imagine that anybody was paying any attention at all for it to hit that island. And yet, we still don't know. Uh, well, there's only two people that know. The two that were on the bridge. And, you know, they'll have to live with that the rest of their life. The courts still have to sort out what they're going to do with that. That's taken an incredibly uh, long period of time. But, you know, hopefully someday it'll, it'll come out. Did you hope that would be resolved by the time you left? Uh, I would have thought it would have been resolved within a year of the incident. It's a long time. Is that a regret you have? That's not something I could have controlled. I think I, I live with the regret that two people uh, lost their lives because there was some carelessness. That's what you think about. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard not to think about it. David Hahn is also thinking about what he will do next after he leaves BC Ferries. He says he has no firm offers, but would like to serve on boards in the private sector and maybe consult. But there is one company that he's going to stay away from. Here at Ferries? Oh, God, no. No. No, that would be a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Let's stay when you walk out the door. That's it. David Hahn leaves BC Ferries. What's it going to be like for you? Ah. I'll, I'll keep my chin up and be tough, but I think it's going to be hard on me inside. You know, I... Um, I never took the job lightly. I get very heavily involved. I get very emotionally involved in it. Um, um, it'll be tough. You know, I just did the last ops call today. I mean, I'm doing a lot of last of everything. <laughs> this may be one of my last interviews. I don't know. I, I just, I think I, I play it by ear. That's going to be tough. So, Stephen, what happens next for David Hahn? He, he came here from Ogden Aviation uh, from the Buffalo area. Is he going back to the U.S.? Or now that he is a Canadian citizen, does he plan to stay? Well, Hudson, he says he's going to take some time to rest, possibly a sunny vacation. And he says he has no plans to move from B.C., but ultimately he thinks he's going to commute back and forth to New York City so he and his wife can stay close to their children on both coasts. Oh, he's a good golfer. Maybe you should stay here and golf year-round. He can certainly <laughs> do that, can't he? I suppose. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.